about to get discharged from the hospital. <laughs> and then we're like getting it and showing me that and have you guys see her like reaction to seeing my vagina. Oh, like, like take the whole thing off. Oh, like, rip it off. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh my god. <laughs> like, we'll see it from behind. Oh my god. And then she's like, on the, like, regular, like, on the bottom of my butt. And then the next, like, and then, like, all the way. And like, ew. And then then she's like, all just gonna blow out of the seat. It looks really fun. It just looks like you have a fat fist. <laughs> <And then, yeah. laughs> Looks like me after I got fucked by like, you know. <laughs> I mean, uh... Okay, you guys. So ignore my fucking cold sore, kinker sore, whatever the fuck people call it, on my lip. But I just showered, and I think that's when it literally hit me that I dead ass have a vagina because this last week has been just so painful and so fucking annoying. And now it's like. Oh, I'm just like chilling. I can actually like touch my legs together. I can just like wear clothes. And as long as I can fucking remember dead ass, like 10 years ago, looking down, obviously it was like not what I wanted to see. I almost feel normal because I've always just like had a vagina, like mentally kind of, if that makes sense. And obviously I've always duct taped. I've always done everything to hide my like dick. And I just feel so good and I just feel so happy. And it's so weird. Cause like, I just never thought I'd like actually be at the end of my checklist and I just feel so me and so just normal and I'm ready to fucking go and I'm ready to continue my recovery. <laughs> it looks like I'm fingering myself, but I have bags of ice down there and I haven't peed yet since I've been home. So that'll be a whole nother fucking task. But that and now I have literally nine days of just like icing and like doing literally nothing um, until my next checkup. She said this week is gonna be like so scary um, that it's gonna swell up, but I'm just gonna manifest that it's not gonna swell all crazy. And I have to walk like two blocks a day or something three times a day. So thank God I can like get fresh air and not feel like I'm literally in a gel cell. But I love you guys. So I'm literally like, thank you for following me since the beginning. And if you're new, hi bitch. This is only the new beginning. So let's fucking go, honestly. <laughs> Alright guys, so I already peed, but it's like the most insane feeling peeing out of something that you already like in your head thought you had. And I'm not kidding. I remember being 10 years old and I sat on these fountain things that squirt out of the water and they like went to my bowl. <laughs> and then I went to the bathroom and obviously I had to like explosively diarrhea. And it's, it just felt so right sitting down. It like sounded like I was peeing because I was like, diarrhea. What's up guys? Um, I literally have a fucking cold sore, canker sore on my lips from all the medication. But after yesterday's post-op, I don't really need to take, um, I don't need to take oxys anymore. Thank God. Um, I'm just icing my coochie right now. Thank God. And this morning I woke up and I pooped. Thank God. It was literally eight days later and I swear to God, I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital or something. I dilated for my first time today while Amanda was sleeping. <laughs> um, thank God. So I got that out of the way. So it was honestly such a productive morning and um, we walked to Starbucks. And so I know it's probably still gonna get worse just because the swelling gets all crazy and stuff this week, but I'm like physically feeling so much better after I like literally lost 10 pounds on the toilet and I'm just so happy. And I have another good solid two weeks or so left in San Fran. Um, Amanda leaves me tomorrow, but I'm just so happy that she's able to come for a good fat five days and that I saved my whole entire existence. I have a couple other friends coming on the third and my mom's leaving in like two days. So that, that like feels like really sad and weird because um, she's been here since the beginning. But I will talk to you guys later. Amanda just left to go to the bank. My mom's like on the phone with my brother's baby. But they said that the main important thing is to ice, 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 and just like listen to your body because there's a lot of swelling this second week of recovery. But I did my two dilations. I douched, I showered. Um, I pooped like literally three times today. So I'm making pretty good progress. Um, <laughs> I just coughed so hard my dilator like came out. Um, but hi guys, I know I haven't talked to you in a minute. Me and Amanda have, didn't really do much. She like helped me change and honestly means the world to me that she was here. I like might cry because she just left. Having her here was honestly like meant the entire world to me. Ethan and Lily and Val all come tomorrow. So I'm excited to see them. I'm just like, oh, I hate being in bed all day, every day. It's like exhausting. 
I don't know why I cry. <laughs> Every time I have to say bye to somebody, I just get it is so sad. Like Amanda left yesterday and I cried. <laughs> my mom left today and i cried and i have these fucking canker sores on my mouth that my surgeon said is an allergic reaction or something val and ethan and lily are about to be here and i'm so excited they always put me in such a good mood <laughs> ethan and val and lily are all here i know it looks like we're a fucking snooze fast <laughs> but, but oh uh, we're watching The Purge. I'm uh, literally so fucking stupid high. I just forced them against their will to take edibles with me. And I just keep online shopping and we just probably ordered $300 worth of food. So yeah. I'm super so, excited. Lily just got our sushi. Thank fucking God. Oh, let's hear it, bitch. Okay. Val, I'm gonna show up. Okay. Oh, I passed out, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I know out. you have a fat meal on sushi. Lily's struggling. Yeah, I can like, open bitch, it. Bitch, open it. Open it. Well, don't, I got it. Say hi. hi. Wait, why are you prettier than me? I'm so annoyed. I oh look God, like what? literally I do no. meth through my lips. If that's minutes. like your look, like own it. Like your like, look, look looking like I do meth. We just like she goes if that's your look, like. <laughs> Shut. But anyways, she just drove 20 minutes and I'm literally gonna cry. I love you. You're so sweet. I'm so ugly. Oh, and we're no, moving no. on. <laughs> it's so windy. I literally don't think I have hypothermia. <laughs> you guys. He's sitting here. Oh my god, my nipples out. <laughs> it's just so fucking painful. Like, why is somebody stopping my vagina non-stop? And it looks like I just got electrocuted, but oh my god. We literally just had to do like some emergency like dilation C C section ass shit. And it's like obviously I'm not gonna complain, like I willingly did this, but it's like, I don't think anybody like knows the pain of like genuinely getting your organs rearranged, chopped up, diced, thrown away, and like pulled up inside you. Like it hurts so bad. And I'm just on Instagram being like, I'm just so high, but like, no, it's like constant, just like death. Like it hurts so bad. I think I'm gonna go insane. The pain is just so fucking annoying. All I can do is literally sit in this hotel room and like literally order McDonald's 12 times a day and just like cry about my pussy throbbing and leaking. The whole three times a day dilation is exhausting, but obviously so fucking worth it. I'm killing it, honestly, but I'm just so ready to go home to LA where I can be with my friends because it's so mentally like draining kind of, even though it's like, okay, Lila, you're literally just sitting in this hotel room all hours of the day just watching Netflix and like complaining about your vagina surgery. But it's like, no, being in the same room all day, every day, like not used to the like life and people surrounding you as you're used to. It's like, oh, so hard, but I'm gonna kill it. I have an appointment on Wednesday. It's like Saturday. So a few more days and then I have one more appointment after that. And then back to LA. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. My lips and tongue are getting a little less weird and dry. So thank God. <laughs> All right, you guys, so since Val and Lily and Ethan have been here, I haven't really been walking much. Um, so I think that might be why my like vagina area is kind of sore. It's honestly like I didn't really cry, but the other night I like literally started like crying to Val. And I felt so bad because I hate crying. But how have I been doing, Val? Really good. It's looking amazing. It is. Like, she has been up in that bed. Nose deep in your puss. So. She was nose deep in my fucking. It's hot, it's Wait, hot. I forgot what the air felt like, babe. I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I forgot what like air. Like, what is this? I'm waddling, literally waddling to Starbucks <laughs> with my pad hanging out, and I need a fucking bantam bagel. I took an edible. I'm watching Euphoria. <laughs> Euphoria. We literally started it last night, and we're already on episode nine. I'm so high. I'm so high, and I think I want to go to Fendi. And I just iced my vagina for so long. I can't even feel my legs. I think all my blood is like frozen. Uh -uh. Are we dating? Yeah. Surprise, Surprise. Ethan's straight. Oh, and not a little bag just like falling. Um, Surprise, we're going does to somebody want to pick us up and fuck us? Like honest. Like, Hi, sir. No, no. He has to. I'm so high, and we're literally walking to Fendi. Whoa. This is we're my, walking to Fendi. We're in this, San Francisco. This is my daily outing. Wait, I really want Starbucks. Wait, we can walk. We can walk. Be careful. Oh, my vagina hurts. We love you, San Fran. <laughs> San Fran, we're inside. You're like you. the best. Hey, boys. Hey, sir. How are you? Yeah, mama, I'm a freak. I hand got a bleach in. Check this one out. Hey boys. 
I like your dog. All right, you guys, so I don't even know how I'm walking. I think my pussy probably is falling apart at this point. Um, but I went to Fendi and Gucci and it's safe to say that I should be euthanized and arrested and detained. I just shouldn't be able to have much, like anything. Like I just deserve nothing in this life. But I'm waddling around and I'm the thirstiest ever. All right, you guys. So it is officially two weeks post-op vaginal pasty. I am peeing right now. I'm actually by myself. Val, Lily, and Ethan left this morning. And then Romy, Steph, Jackie, Ellie, Molly, I'll get here tomorrow morning, so I'm so fucking happy and grateful, obviously, and excited to see them. I'm like, honestly, so happy and edible. I'm peeing. I wish you guys could see the scars because the scars that were on the side of my legs are like, starting to go away. There's like stitches like in my vagina. I'm just so confused. Um, okay, wait, hold on. Also, it gets so annoying because this, it's hydrogen peroxide and water. Um, every time after you pee, I don't know how long I'm honestly I'm supposed to be doing this for, but you have to spray so it doesn't, I don't know, get infected or something. Then you dab because there are just incisions down there, so it is a little crazy. Ah! Oh Romeo and Ellie are here, and I guess they're moving on. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that? We shared it. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Little outing of a day. Like, we're fucking sick. What is this? <laughs> Romeo goes, do you know your way around now? Like, babe, no, I don't leave. Are you guys? So, Molly's roommate, Catherine, um, she is literally such a good friend to me. She's so sweet. And she just literally brought me this bag full of goodies, and bitch, you know my high ass loves gummy bears. This is like Christmas or something. Oh. Are those the brownie good. ones? Oh, these are gonna be gone tonight. Are the I'm so scared, yeah. Oh, these are so good. The flavor of last event. <laughs> Love that. Am I paler than you? <laughs> Nothing <laughs> never happened. Okay. <laughs> I love you. A little group outing moment. <laughs> So me and Jackie are going to my two and a half week appointment and bitch, look at the sky. <gasps> what? <laughs> I don't match the sky. <laughs> it's just like, why is it bright fucking orange? And it's 9.45 in the morning. Oh my God, you guys, look, my surgeon, this is her 300th vaginoplasty and they got me balloons. I'm gonna cry. I would just like to say that it is my V day, bitch. I'm signing their little graduation quilt because I'm like graduating from vagina school. Okay. I am leaving in the morning to go get my vagina done. I will talk to you with the vagina. to get discharged from the hospital. I just never thought I'd like actually be at the end of my checklist. Thank <gasps> you. <Yay. laughs> that was so cute.